this I will sign a law enforcement official killed in the line of duty. For more than three months, the United States and the international community have very patiently sought a diplomatic solution to Iraq's decision to end all its cooperation with the UN weapons inspectors. Iraq's continued refusal to embrace a diplomatic, peaceful solution, its continued defiance of even more United Nations resolutions, makes it plainer than ever that its real goal is to end the sanctions without giving up its weapons of mass destruction program. The Security Council and the world have made it crystal clear now that this is unacceptable, that none of us can tolerate an Iraq free to develop weapons of mass destruction with impunity. Still, Saddam Hussein has it within its hands, within his hands, to end this crisis now by resuming full cooperation with UNSCOM. Just yesterday, his own neighbors in the Arab world made it clear that this choice is his alone and the consequences if he fails to comply, his alone in terms of responsibility. Good morning. Uh, America wants a peaceful outcome that gets UNSCOM back on the job. But we are prepared to act if that doesn't happen. For months, we have said that every option was on the table. Unfortunately, one by one, the diplomatic options have been rebuffed. Iraq has a simple choice, reverse course or face the consequences. Part of the discussion about the comprehensive review is uh, that they have to allow UNSCOM to get in and begin to do its work. Yes. He'll be welcomed any time he wants to go on him. We've been encouraging him to do that, but we haven't received anything from him yet on this matter. He'll be welcomed. Iraq does know what needs to be done. Uh, we've given them the list of remaining disarmament requirements. They can do this the legal and orthodox way by cooperating with us, uh, or it seems there'll be big trouble. I, I, and I just hope they're listening, especially to their Arab friends who told them yesterday that really they've got to do this, and I hope they do. 